the new year is a great time to think about cleaning and not just your closet. So here with tips to tidy your tech this season is Lisa Chang. Thank you, Lisa. I'm overwhelmed. Uh, we have to, why do we need to make sure that we are actually decluttering our devices? Like, why is that an important thing? You know what? It's, it's the season to talk about storage solutions, declutter, get organized. And so the way that we're relying on our technology, why wouldn't we do that in the same way that we're doing our cupboards, our pantries, our closets, and everything in between? Yes. We gotta make sure that we are organizing our tech because why? That is what's gonna improve the efficiency and the performance of our technology. And that's what we all want. Absolutely. We don't wanna have to go out and buy these big ticket items frequently, mm -hmm. not only because they're expensive, but also because we don't wanna be wasteful. Absolutely, okay, all very good points. Now, let's get into your first tip. It's all about managing our passwords and our accounts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how's that going for you, Trace? Um, just look away from me because <laughs> I don't have anything good to say about that. I can't remember all the passwords. There's yes. so there's a major demand of new passwords. I can't keep up. Definitely, and I think that as the years progress, this one tip gets more and more important. Hacking is really becoming a lot more common. Huge. We're seeing it a lot. So when it comes to our security safety, we want to make sure that we're changing those passwords often. This mm. could be a great time to audit your accounts and make sure that we're deactivating some passwords, resetting them as well, mm -hmm. and then also adopting a great password management system oh. that will remember <laughs> it for you so that yes. you don't have to do the hard work of remembering it. Absolutely, and they, those are, you can do those quite easily. I just need to get on top of it. So yeah, me too. Can we talk about emails? I yeah. don't even want to go there. Like, we need to start getting our emails sorted. How do we start to do that? There are so many things that come into our inbox, whether mm. that be, let's say, that gym or a service that you may have gone to a year ago and loved it, and they added you there, to their account system, and you're still getting their sales, their coupons, all their updates. You want to go in and close off those accounts. Okay. In addition to that, you also want to go in and unsubscribe from any of the retail accounts that you still belong to. Maybe you don't shop there often. Yeah. You don't need to get the junk email. So mm -hmm. go in and do your due diligence of un unsubscribing to those emails as well. Yeah. And then the biggest thing is going through your own email and seeing what are, what's in your inbox that maybe you don't need to keep there anymore. Yep. Go into your trash and even though you add your emails to the trash, you want to physically empty the trash that's so that right. it's gone forever and then go through your folder system okay. and see if that's really working for you. Mm. If it's not, now, now might be a good time to reorganize your folders. Okay, can we talk about the apps? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I've got too many. Me too. I've got like five pages of apps on my phone. What Same. can we do to start paring that down? Well, one great tip that I have is to organize your apps with affirmations. That's something that I do. Okay. Um, but you also want to make sure that you're going into your actual settings in your phone or your yeah. device and seeing how much storage is being taken up from different categories. Yes. So you'll be surprised to know apps can take up a lot of storage, so can messages as well, okay. and of course photos. Yeah. So you wanna go into your messages, delete all of that, go into your WhatsApp messages, delete all the photos if your oh, phone saves them twice, okay. because it's gonna take up storage double time. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. But, oh I, man, I got work to do. Yeah. We also need to be proactive about protecting our devices Definitely. as well. And what do you mean by that? Okay, so two things. Number one, always stay on top of your device updates. When the manufacturer right. is coming to you saying, an update is needed, software firmware update is needed. You don't mm -hmm. want to ignore those things. And then also protect your devices when it comes to viruses and malware. There's some great antivirus um, products out there on the market that you can get. Okay, very good. Now, we're on to your last tip, which is physically giving these items a clean. So oh my. Is it's it true our phones are as dirty as public toilet seats? Um, not <laughs> as dirty, that's a conservative estimate. It's actually 10 times more dirty than a, than public, a toilet. public toilet seat. And think about that. Oh. How many times are you picking up your phone, putting it to your face, touching something else, touching your phone? Yeah. It is a germ magnet. So mm. you want to make sure that we are cleaning the outside of all of our devices. So mm -hmm. I've got our phone. So I'm going to start with some household solutions that you can adopt really quickly. Okay. Tools that you can use is just a regular old toothpick. Okay. What you're gonna do is just go into the speaker and just gently take out any, any lint that might yeah. be accumulating right there in the speaker. Yeah. You can also use a Q-tip and just clean the sides of the phone. And then an actual solution that would be good 
is 70% rubbing alcohol and 30% distilled water. Okay. Now you always want to make sure that your phone is turned off. It's not plugged in, of course. Yeah. And there's some amazing products on the market that you can get which do all the work for you. So some of the solutions that I love is from right here from Woosh. And once again, it's a great cleaning agent for screens. But yeah. one other big thing when it comes to your screens yeah. is never use a paper towel. It can actually scratch your device. Oh. You always want to make sure you're going in with a microfiber cloth. Okay, well, excuse me. Uh, yes. I've it, been doing it wrong. Yes, and it, you know, okay. it's very particular. You never yes. want to scratch your screens. All right. So you spray onto the towel first, mm -hmm. and then you give it a light wipe. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're going in on, let's say, a keyboard, of course, you never want to spray on top of your keyboard. Again, yeah. always spray onto the uh, towel itself. Yeah. Or you can take what is, it oh, looks a lot yeah. like your kid's slime project. Yeah. And just go over because, again, it collects a lot of dust and things like that. That's going to pick up your whole lunch. Definitely. Blech. Now, Tracy, I thought my AirPods were clean, okay? Yeah. I, I, I was pretty proud of that. Yeah. Until I got this little... Um, earbud device here. I got it on Is that on specifically Amazon. for to clean out your earbuds? It is. Okay. So with this tip, yeah. you, what you're going to do is you're going to go around the corner and it's going to take out all of the earwax and the dust and all the things that collect so that every time you're putting it back in your ear, yeah. you're not reinserting the goodies? The 20 pounds of earwax that you, hey, it was already on. Do you know the goodies you're going to get? Everyone go home and try that. Okay. If you don't have that actual device, I guess, can you use a toothpick? You can absolutely use a toothpick. So don't forget, toothpicks and Q-tips, totally your friend. Just yeah. be gentle, of course, with your yes. tech, right? Yeah. And yeah, always stay vigilant. Yeah. Also use, you know, your compression spray, always sure. a great tip for keyboards and things like that. And again, on your screens, specifically computer screens and TV screens, don't even use a spray. Just, Just distilled the cloth. water and the cloth. Okay, well, go mm -hmm. clean out your uh, earbuds and send us pictures on Tristoke. <laughs> <laughs> Do not send us pictures of that. Such great tips, Lisa. Thank you.